Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a themed run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is the Fallen Sabre. Uh, the theme for this Nightfall is dungeons. So I've picked a weapon from each of the dungeons. Obviously, I can only pick, there's, there's a few dungeons, I can only do, use three weapons. So I went with the new Purpose Pulse Rifle from Duality, Thousand Yard Stare from Grasp of Avarice, and Xenophage, which you get from the Pit of Heresy. So... The other three weapons I've decided to go with, obviously, Sniper's Barrier, and ma now, Machine Gun is Overload, but Xenophage does not operate within an Overload Machine Gun environment, because it can't put consistent fire on. Didn't know that till I started the video, but there you go. So, for Overloads, I'm going to be using the Grenades. Uh, I'm using Crown of Tempest on the Warlock. You'd have seen all the fragments and aspects I was using for the Warlock. I'm using uh, Crown of Tempest just to speed up the ability regeneration for my Arc abilities. And it also gives me Super back faster. I'm using Chaos Reach as the Super. So, what did I actually find out doing this? That uh, <laughs> Thousand Yard Stare is not a PvE sniper? <laughs> not with the role I've got in it, anyway. Xenophage done, done a job. Uh, this has been happening to me in the Nightfall quite a bit. I've I've went before this part you'll see here, and then I haven't got a Warsat. I've had to go back, and then I get the Warsat. So if that happens to you, that's how you negate that, is just go back to that underpass, and the Warsat will load in. We're going to be doing the... the emote... It's not really, is it a glitch? I don't know if this is a glitch. Uh... It saves you a couple of minutes. That, that you, you still have to take the champions down. So I am returning with the themed runs. Each week I will pick a different theme. If you guys have got a theme that uh, you would like to see me do, whether whatever, all the weapons need to come from an activity, uh, let me know in the comment section and we'll see if we can make those weapons work. Uh, I'll, be pl I'll be doing them for... The rest of the season, really, so there's a, a few nightfalls to go and a few themes to be explored. But if you've got a favourite you would like to see, let me know what it is. So, Arc 3.0 is here. I've had a couple of weeks to play with it. And Warlock, the Warlock kind of exists in a very strange section of Arc 3.0 because much the same as Solar, uh, the, the Arc's neutral game abilities and not super just the abilities was always pretty pretty decent it, it wasn't major league but it was pretty decent same as solar i don't know if arc 3.0 apart from the chained stuff and i'm not talking about the seasonal artifacts let's be honest solar 3.0 looked nice and shiny and beautiful while we had classy restoration the minute that was gone the titan was like i still got my helmet and every other class was like, well, you're good, but you're, you know, you're, you're okay. We never really got anything like that with Ark, so I can't really say Ark's bad. I'm not going to say that because I don't think it is. I just think it's less polished. I still think Void is the best subclass we got. Uh, but the Ark regeneration using the Ionic Traces from Warlock is brilliant. Having the ability to chain your your arc grenades is is brilliant but what's really strange is if you talk about the aspects the titan has the best kind of arc about arc grenade abilities the, t the the warlock got something similar with you know fusion grenades exploding twice and the the solar grenades uh emitting some sort of magma we got that on solar i think the titan got that this time where where the arc the, the arc grenades on Titan are slightly better. So as you can see here, I, if you don't crit with the sniper, it's a two shot. So one, once I do get that, then it's a straight shot. Now, you'll notice me doing something. I'll just put my well down. This is a great little thing as well. The super fired arc uh, 3.0 uh, arc soul. And what I was trying to do here, and you'll see why, if you'd have been looking, I've got uh, I've got a couple of uh, mods on the elemental ordnance mods. So when I get kills with grenades, it drops a heap of uh, elemental light orbs, which help me get my super back, my uh, abilities back faster. 
and I'm also because of the helmet because of the helm I'm, uh, I'll be getting uh, increased regeneration of my abilities as well so uh, yeah the super, this little arc my little arc buddy my little arc so very good when you put down a riff that was a really really clever idea but uh, yeah I, I, I am enjoying arc so the sniper I've got as I said you've got to crit to break the shield I do have a major spec on it the pulse rifle was admirable. I have a pretty good one. It was really good when uh, when it was pulse rifle barrier. See, I'm just putting down a grenade, which allows me to get in here, get my rift down. And any ad that goes through is in real trouble because those grenades do big, big damage. So I'm just... Now what I'm doing is, same as before, uh, I'm waiting for these invisible guys. There's a, there's a whole bunch of them that will come in here what i'm doing here is i'm trying to get rid of get rid of the the snipers the snipers the 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 barrier the barrier kind of block uh, you know shields a couple of the snipers i'm i was trying to get rid of those see that i'm just chaining we will have an invisible coming behind us melee's good Every, i mean with, with arc burn there's nothing to not like so now i'm just using them just two shots Two shots from Xenophage, one hits the yellow bars, and now we're going to try and take out the barrier. Now you see here I do get tanked, but luckily I've got the, the whale, and uh, my rift whale. If you're wondering, for anybody that doesn't know, and there will be some people that don't know, the thing with the Xenophage is it does, it's blunt force trauma, it does a lot of big hit damage, but it doesn't crit because it's got explosive payload. Right, so you have to be. I don't expect him to be there. Uh, you have to be very careful. Right, we're just gonna wait for him to teleport one more time, and there we go. You have to be careful when you're working out your damage for uh, how much damage you need to do on barriers or whatever ad, because you will not be doing critical hit damage with with this weapon. So. But it's if it, it, it does more obviously it, it, it's like a, it's like a machine gun scout rifle in the respects it's one big hit now see what happened there i just all i done was i put my i put my aim slightly <laughs> that grenade went down yeah down the side of the stairs after the, after those enemies come out you are going to have four exploders now luckily for me unlucky for them they decided to uh all, all clump together and allow me to just throw my grenade out there so i again really bad grenade didn't expect that uh what i do is from this side i throw my grenade in such a way that it lands on the front you'll see me doing it here there we go and then when it lands on the front now it it was really i had to wait for it to stand back up and now we can take them. It took more shots than I was I was happy with. You've also got these two two snipers. I think I've already taken one out. And there's 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 the other. There's two overloads here. The other overload. I'm just going to entice him to a place where we can grenade him. And I always wait for in between uh, in between teleports for them. There we go, and we got heavy. Now, because I'm on the class item, I have the seasonal artifacts. I have uh, bad amplitude. So if you affect a uh, any of the champions uh, with this grenade, what's uh, when when you affect them with it, it kind of attaches a little bit of arc to them, and then you, when you do damage. They they, be, they they become amplified, so they will then spread their arc damage across whatever enemies are there. But they also take a bit more damage as well from each jolt. So they don't become amplified, obviously. They become jolted. Right? I, <laughs> I'm still getting used to all the terms. I'm not really. I don't know why I said they were amplified. I think it's because I've seen my character was amplified and done that. You know, say what you see instead of what you mean. So, they become amplified and they share out arc damage. I almost died there because 
went for that ammo. Be very careful because these arc streams can kill you. So, I'm going to pick this charge up. I'm going to follow the left hand arc stream down. As you can see, you don't move as quickly with the orb, but if you slide, you do. I, I would. It wasn't until I was running down that I realised because the, the whole part, point of this, you don't want your uh, you don't want to shoot those exploders. When I was coming down, I realised I had an oxel. Who was going to shoot them regardless? Because we don't we don't talk anymore. <laughs> so again, grenade. I'm going to take a lot of these enemies out as quickly as possible. As that yellow bar, I, I I always want that sniper down pretty quickly. Got my grenade back. I'll throw it down there. We'll see what we get. And um, we know we've got an overload somewhere here, but I'm, you know, if I can get the overload down, that would be brilliant. Just throw another grenade. And just when I thought, I did I get him? Yep, I got him. I think it might be the Barry. I went after the Barry and had to dip. Yep, because then all the other ads I can't. Be careful. It doesn't matter if you're doing this as a themed run. It does, you know, just 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 across all the runs. Just be careful. It's something you can do. And you you don't even sometimes don't even realise you're doing it. Be careful you don't get too greedy with the damage. So I've got another another rift. One of these overloads will always come down. And we want to keep him down here, but as you can see I was waiting for him to teleport. And now I'll just put some snipes on him. I've got a couple of There we go. I, I left my grenade to kill him so I would get these. But because it, because the, I think the modifier I've got on here, all your abilities recharge faster. It's just a really good, really good uh, modifier. But you take a bit more damage from from arc and stasis. You just your abilities recharge faster. So I'm just what I'm trying to do here is just trying to get rid of all the the little nasties. I do not have a lot of ammo, so I'm going to toss a grenade up top and hopefully that amplifies the barrier. Which it did, and you can see the barrier then spread and the amp the amp amplified effect to to all the other ads. There, that's that ad gone. I've got very little uh, ammo. I'll just put down a, 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 a rift. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss that at this overload, and then I'm just going to melt them in my super. And once I melt them, it used to be something that you you couldn't do on every. You know, it was it was very. I think you needed a, a, an exotic. I can't actually remember. Was it was it the boots that done it, where you could uh, cancel your cancel your super midway through chaos reach? I can't remember if it, was, if it was the boots that done it. The geomag stabilizers. I can't remember if it was those. But now it's intrinsic, so you can just once you've finished using it, as you see, I I, I finished. I didn't have a lot, but I finished still with some super energy. Now I'm having to be very careful because I have, I do not have any ammo really. So I'm just trying, just going to break this barrier. I thought it would have broken, but as you can see, very, 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 uh, I thought it was very, uh, telling is the word I'm looking for, that I wasn't aware that snipers, so I've won hits. The, the champion, you see here, I'm going to go and get this. I have one hit the barrier champion before, but even from that range with the sniper, it did not one hit his, his barrier. So what I'm going to do, throw that up there and hopefully the barrier moves back in. I'm going to push up here. We know we've got overloads. So I've got a bit of heavy. We'll just get rid of him. I'll just move here. Now, if I'd have dropped more ammo... Bungie, fix your ammo situation. It's ridiculous that we're still talking about this. Uh, you see there, I'm j I've got my super. I'm just going to spread it. Now, I never actually got the next cha the, the next champion. So I'll put the grenade on and I'm just going to use my... I don't think it worked actually. I think I do need the special. Or heavy. So what I've done this time... Nearly got my grenade back. I'll put my rift down. And then what we're going to do is drop a grenade. Now, it stopped the wrong champion. Which was unfortunate. So I came round here. Uh, 
the the other modifier is vandals are dropping these these uh main spider mains of the cold so now i'll stop this champion and i'll just snipe him again ammo was a real problem shouldn't have had to be like this so now i'm waiting for him to move again i'll drop a grenade on him now, as you can see the grenade and my my little thunder buddy doing massive that but same massive i don't I, I don't want to be you know too sensational about it absolutely humongous they almost almost took the, the floor apart done big damage enough damage to kill him so what what i learned with this run right off the bat here what i learned was snipers do have a, a more of a fall off range than i remember them having xenophage does good damage but can't really be classed uh I think Bungie maybe have done a half decent job of balancing the Xeno because when they'd done the thing where they fixed machine guns or at least made them more attractive for us, for us to use, they never made the Xenophage the one and done. In fact, if anything, they've tried to do that with the Thunderlord, where the Thunderlord is, you know, everybody's best friend. You know, Thunderlord multi kills actually make you amplified, which is pretty cool. So, what we're going to do now. Boss is going to be worked the same way I would normally work the boss, which is start from this side. You'll have two phases from this side. I'm just trying to keep him from re trying to keep this server from regenerating his shield, so I can get over here and pick this ammo up. And I, for some reason, decided to run all the way over to pick up one special. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into position, I, so we get two phases. This the, the boss is in his sniper phase. We get two phases of here. Now, I, when I threw my super, I'm going to be honest, really disappointed with the amount of damage that Chaos Reach does. Really disappointed because my grenade out damaged Chaos Reach. Now, before anybody says in, in, in the comments, I know that most of my Chaos Reach missed because of where the boss was. But when I was looking, it was hitting them per tick for 9,000. Right. But it didn't have, even with a full super, it didn't really have a lot of 9,000 ticks. The grenade was hitting between, you know, what I was getting. You see here, I'm getting, you know, 4,000s, but then I'm chaining damage. So that's a little bit disappointing that Chaos Reach hasn't been good on the Warlock for a while. Since, since they took the Geomags down, I think. Now we'll do the same thing again, get a little up buddy and I'll throw the green. You see there I'm getting the sixes, fives, tens. I mean when did it happen that the grenade done more than the super? So again I'm just here. This is my, my cover here. Another grenade. Look at I mean look at look at his health. Look at Saber 2's health. The grenade is is chowing him. So now he's changed, so that was the first two damage phases. We're going to stay here, where we are, in this area, until we've ta taken down the barrier. But before we do that, we've got two unique enemies that come in on after the second damage phase on the boss. We get Exploders, you see there, and then we get Snipers. You really have to take both of them down because, like, prioritise them. Because the Snipers, well, they're arc. But the Exploders come, at, they come down at you. You know, the Exploders will come hunting you. Uh, we've put put the grenade, which the boss, does, the, this barrier, doesn't like. So now I'm just going to put some Xenophage. I'm just going to reload and wait to break his shield again. I found another thing, which is interesting. I'm just going to go and get some ammo. Uh, another thing I found very interesting uh, about about what they've done is that uh, as you can see there the barrier champion regenerates his shield almost immediately as soon as he puts his barrier up there is no there used to be like I don't know how, what to call it a grace period there used to be a little bit of a grace period where you know put up his shield you get a millisecond then the health would come back up well now it seems like you don't get that. As soon as the shield is formed, the big man's going for his for his health. Again, 
silent kind of changes that Bungie makes, you guys can let me know if anybody thinks anything different. Was it always like that? I do not remember always being like that. But, uh, yep, yeah, so with a sniper, uh, while, we're, while we're just, all I'm doing at the moment is just taking down some exploders. I will, once once I've got a little bit of heavy, I'm looking for a brick of heavy. That's why I'm letting the ads come up to me, so that the heavy drops somewhere I can get it. My, my kind of thoughts on these weapons is Xeno... I don't know if Xeno would be my first choice to do many things. There's some heavy. Uh, Thousand Yard Stare was was my PvE weapon in D, D1. I'm just going to get this heavy. Oh, Exploder really, really, really took a, took a gamble there. Out of all the weapons I'm using for PvE, the new purpose is the only one that I would really suggest. The, the Thousand Yard really didn't do it for me. It, you know, there are better raid and dungeon... Well, there's better raid snipers, better PvE snipers. Uh, but for me, the, the Thousand Yard is not... A, it's a decent crucible sniper, but not very good for PvE. The new purpose, on the other hand, really done well. Uh, the, the, the version that I've got has got adaptive munitions, and I've used it for content before. I do like it. Xenophage, nah... Nah, and, and the reason why it doesn't stop overloads, I believe, is because, as I've already said, the consistent fire. It can't fire fast enough to put consistent fire in on overload. So now, the end of this run, I probably wouldn't use any of these again for PvE. Maybe Xenophage I do use for certain parts of King's Wall, uh, simply because it one hits anything with a, you know, the, the wizards and that with, with solar shields. But uh, we've had good good weapons from the dungeons. This just, a, the Xenophage just isn't it. I didn't want to use uh, my Linear again because I feel like I've used Storm Chaser quite a bit. So, here we are. We're just about to take down the boss. Uh, I'm just wanting to get him into his arc. I'll throw a grenade which chains on him. I'll put a bit of, bit of Xeno and then I'll finish him off with... You can see there, actually the super is putting a bit of damage into him. But not as much as I would expect really it's still kind of a weakish super and there we go guys that is my solo master nightfall uh dungeon themed as i've already said let me know in the in the comment section if you've got a theme you would like to see me do if you've got suggestions uh again i always support i always i always am thankful of the support that you guys give me i do do stuff like this on stream this was done on stream so you can check that out link will be in the description thanks a lot for watching guys i always appreciate all your support and i will see you guys in the next video